my brothers is taught to bust. Brothers is taught to bust. Brothers are abused by other brothers. Other brothers, other brothers. I'm Patrick McNeil. I'm Patrick Miller. And together, uh, we're fail. <laughs> we use the word fail in many different ways through the artwork. Like any good thing, I think you can read into it in its own way. New York City Ballet was working on a new initiative to do an art series. There was sort of a short list of artists that they were interested in, in talking to. The idea really evolved just from that initial talk to uh, going to the space, checking it out. And the space really kind of informed what we wanted to do for the show. The tower is made up of over 2,000 individually painted and silk screened panels that all come together and make up this tower of, uh, of our work. It's about 40 feet tall. And the base trickles out to be uh, 16 by 16 feet. It was great going into their archive. It's basically like this bunker underneath Wall Street somewhere. <laughs> you go way underground and it's just full of, you know, all their old playbills and printed ephemera, posters, a lot of those things that, that inspire our work to begin with. So this is one of the paintings that we're working on for the exhibition. You can see it's kind of made up of all the uh, modular wood bits and has a couple different narratives going on in it. Everything is pretty much printed, hand painted, and then printed again. It's, I think, really inspired from living in, in New York and kind of having that full experience and visual impact and sort of, you know, you're kind of left at the end of the day with all these little bits and pieces. It incorporates a lot of different elements and that's fail painting. The track uh, in the building that's they hang most of their artwork from isn't strong enough to support the weight of this work. We had these uh, steel bases made for them. So all the pieces are going to be like freestanding, which kind of adds a, a, a sculptural kind of element to them. That's one of the things we've really enjoyed about the wood paintings over, over the years. They've really taken the painting to a more sculptural place. These are the uh, blocks that we're going to be using for the giveaway. Each guest that attends the ballet will get a unique hand-painted, printed wood block. You see exactly how the blocks play out through, through all the paintings, from here to the smaller bits that help create all these different combinations in the works. Did these large scale block pieces. I think this one ran on the subway. I mean, we've seen our work on the street for so long. Uh, it's definitely different to see it in the context that it's in. You know, it still achieves the same sort of impact, I think, that it did when we originally put it up. You know, it's just that uh, somebody else is doing it and there's permission to do it. But in, in that way, it gets the work out there and people get to see it. And for us, you know, that was, that's the whole point. We're still, like, challenging ourselves or pushing it and, uh, and, and pushing the viewers, too. You know, that was the beauty of street art, is you didn't need anyone to say, like, yes, you can put this up. You know, while it's illegal, at least it was like you could be a part of the dialogue and the discussion. I think it's a great way into making art.